The 2K Sports Pregame Show, sponsored by Sprite. The NBA Finals with its first change of scenery here as we get set for Game 3 on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors as they play against the Cleveland Cavaliers at Quicken Loans Arena. And for Cleveland, they lost Game 2 in a close one. Sometimes a random bounce can make the difference, but they're looking to take matters into their own hands tonight. There have been a lot of surprises in these playoffs so far, Shaq, but, uh, I mean, you look at this series. If you fall down 3 nothing, I mean, this thing's all but over, right? You don't want to fall down 3-0 because, Ernie, teams don't come back from 3-0 deficits. If they don't win this one, you know what they can start doing, Ernie? Planning for the summer. And you know what happens when a team falls down 4 nothing in a series? No. They're eliminated. Oh. It's true. Look it up. It's, uh, it's, it's true. Look it up, big fella. Doctor. Oh. Look it up, Kevin. Look it up. A 2-0 start to the finals. Things could change direction here in Game 3. 2K Sports brings you NBA playoff action. In the booth with me, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Good evening, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. You look at the Cavaliers. They can't panic, but after losing the first two on the road, you know, there's no question they'll need a win tonight to regain some confidence and, and make make this a series well their goal going into the finals was to get a split of those first two games on the road and they weren't able to do it so now the pressure is on them to really just win this first game if you can turn the series around emotionally and momentum wise now you got a chance to take control but steve if they're able to win game three tonight that scenario becomes a definite possibility they'd get a huge boost going forward the fans will just get crazier and more hyped all fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Thompson and Barnes, the two and three. Down low, it's Green and Bogut. And it's Curry in at the one spot. Matthew. On defense, Cleveland. It's a three-point game. Thursday's loss was a disappointment. Yeah, I thought their defense in that game was about as shaky as it could be. At home, you know, that kind of defense isn't going to cut it. Never mind if you're on the road. They really look tired to me, and I don't know if they had travel issues or if they were out too late, but something was amiss because they had no energy. Really nice work inside there. We'll always give you a battle on the interior, guys. At the top of the key, Thompson puts one up from 19. Shot is off, so Cleveland will take it the other way. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Della Vidova kicks to James. Here's the screen. Cleveland moving it around, just four to shoot. Tipped away, stolen by Thompson. Outside Curry. Back to Thompson, clock at six. And it's off from three-point range. LeBron with it. Thompson sets the pick for James. Again, the Cavaliers score. Looks like he might be on his game today, Clark. The Warriors have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. And that one's good, Barnes. And he came off that screen. The defense just couldn't get over the top. Beautiful play. Yep, and without a hand in his face, he's going to bury those. Now here's LeBron. Smith outside. On the wing, Thompson. Back to Smith. Three-pointer. Another three for Cleveland. And they're on fire. They've made four straight shots to get this thing going. Warriors trail by five. Curry with it. 
Green with a screen on Smith. Thompson outside. Over in the corner, Barnes. Here's Bogut. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. The Warriors shooting their first free throws of the game. And he knocks down the first one. Oh my God, they just got that. Bogut drops them both. Oh my God, I just got that. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Delavidova, the pass to LeBron. He dishes it to Delavidova. The screen from Thompson. Six to shoot. That's a two from Smith. Offensive rebound. Mozgov, no good with the layup. Warriors trail by three. Outside Curry. And here's Barnes for three. Cavaliers with the rebound. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin, thanks. Golden State's head coach and I were able to chat. I asked him how he felt about their position, and he seemed only mildly content with their first two wins. His thoughts were, it felt good to take the first two games of the finals. But we have three in a row here, and anything can happen. The old cliche is, it's not a series until someone loses at home. And I believe that. He should know, guys. All right, Doris, thanks. Now here's Barnes, following the miss by J.R. Smith. The drive by Green. No one near Curry as he lets it go. And that's good for two. Offensively. He can be the engine that drives them at any given time. James kicks to Delvidova. Thompson sets the pick for LeBron. For three, Smith. And Curry pulls it down. And poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. That puts them in the lead. Barnes has got five. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. That's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. The Cavaliers shooting their first free throws of the game right now. Two shots. Free throw good, LeBron. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Warriors have gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Outside Curry. Bogut sets a screen for Curry. Here's Barnes. Count that one. Barnes has got seven points. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter, at least at the offensive end. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Looks like he saw some things out there that needed adjusting and uh, wants to talk it over a little bit with his club. I don't think you can ever go wrong burning the timeout if you see something you don't like and you need to talk about it. The Cavaliers trailing. Elevadova dishes to Mozgov. James outside. He kicks it to Smith. 
Thompson. A screen on Thompson. Shot clock at six. Smith against Thompson. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And it seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. It's stolen by Smith. And here comes Smith leading the fast break. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. What a huge play. The defense to start and ignite that play was terrific. And I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. And now that they have the lead, they might even want to get more aggressive defensively. Really attack, try to come up with more steals. Now here's Curry on the wing, Green. Back to Curry. Shot clock at six. Again, Golden State. Back and forth we go. That basket gives us just another lead change. And there have been too many of those to keep track of. What a contest. Here's Delavido. Thompson sets the pick for Smith. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the chain. Smith's got five now. Warriors have gone six of ten from the field in this ballgame. Smith against Thompson. Kicks to Barnes. Pass to Curry. Five on the clock. And it's Golden State with another. That's his fourth straight make right out the shoot. He's setting a pretty high standard for himself here. Yeah, it's the kind of start you want every game, but of course you rarely get it. Here's Mozgov. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Smith kicks to Delavidova. That three off the mark. Warriors have gone 7 of 11 for the field to begin the game. On the wing, Thompson. Back to Curry. On the wing, Thompson. Pass to Bogut. Shot from six, and it's Golden State with another. Looked like the defense kind of backed off him, and he took advantage. The Cavaliers trail by three, and the Cavaliers call time here. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Perkins is checked in for Mozgov. Love comes in for Tristan Thompson. Sean Marion is checked in for LeBron. And it's Amon Jumford in for J.R. Smith. Different look here for the Warriors. Spates checked in for Bogut. Lee comes in for Green. Andre Gudala. He's checked in for Barnes. And it's Livingston in for Curry. Now here's Love. Marion kicks to Shumper. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. Outside jumper. Plenty of space. And that one's good. What a start to this game. The offense is both dominating. Tell you what, feels like a game on the playground. Forget about defense, just keep firing. Here is Livingston. He feeds it to Spates. Spates with a screen on Mary. Livingston kicks to Thompson. And it's good assisting on the play with Livingston. Thompson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The Cavaliers trail by four. Elvin over the pass to Perkins. Thompson against Shumper. Love with the screen for Shumper to the left wing. Just five to shoot. The 17 footer. Again, the Cavaliers score. And the Warriors with possession here. Livingston kicks to Lee. That's good. Lee's got his first two points. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, you've got to continue 
to go to the well. Della Vidova kicks the jumper. Here's Love, and the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. 59 seconds left to play in the first. Here is Livingston, looking for his first basket still in this one. Lee is screen on jumper. Perkins with the block. Outside jumper. Here's Della Vidova. And it's Shumpert at the elbow. He's looking for love and finds him. And again, it's Cleveland. And that assist earned him a little nod from his teammate after the basket. Golden State's gone 2 of 5 from three-point land here in the first quarter. Livingston kicks to Spates. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Thompson with it, now guarded by Shumpert. The feed to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's his first trip to the line. good on the free throw. The Cavaliers making a switch here. the second from the line. Oh my God, I just got that. There's 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Schumper dishes to Miller. And that misses. That would have put him up. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The Warriors on top, leading by a point. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. And we're set to get started again for the next bit of action in this game three. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, how would you grade them? Just the start they wanted to this game. Solid offense. They got good ball movement. Established a nice rhythm. Yeah, not stagnant at all. Free-flowing and fluid at the offensive end. Setting the floor for the Warriors. On the wing, Thompson and Igudala. Maurice Spates out there with David Lee, and it's Livingston in at the point guard position. Baseline try, and Kevin Love, the bucket with the assist by Miller. And that's now eight points for Love. No shortage of drama here early on. Well, neither team can grasp control of this thing. I mean, both teams trying to get a hold of it. What do you think, Steve? Well, yeah, eight lead changes already. I mean, that's a big number this early in the game. So we're in for a, a treat tonight. This is a competitive matchup. Here's Lee following the basket by Kevin Love. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Even though he missed it, he couldn't pass up that chance. Yeah, that's an easy jump shot. You got to take that one. Perkins with the screen for jump. Out to Miller. From deep. Cannot hit. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Iguodala, the pass to Thompson. Here's Livingston on target from 13 feet. And the Warriors lead by one. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Outside jumper. Here's Marion. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. Spates kicks to Thompson. Spates sets a screen. Here is Livingston. Back to Igudala. Shot clock at six. Feeds it to Thompson. 
The shot's good on the assist by Igudala. Thompson's got the lead up to four now for the Warriors. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Love in the post, covered by Lee, and it's Love missing. He's not necessarily a strong inside presence, but he needs to polish those chances off. Here is Livingston. Lee is screen on jumper. Livingston dishes to Lee. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. The Cavaliers trail by six. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Love the pass to Miller. Here's Perkins, and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. For the Cavaliers, Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for love. LeBron comes in for Sean Marion. And J.R. Smith's subbed in for Mike Miller. Golden State also making some changes. Green, he's checked in for Spates. Harrison Barnes comes in for Clay Thompson. And Steph Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. Now here's Barnes. Seven points in the game. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. LeBron with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Thompson, a screen on Barnes. Smith kicks to Shumper. For three, no luck. Warriors leading by three. Here's Igudala, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they want on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. Shumper dishes to Perkins. LeBron outside. In the corner, Smith with it. Lock at six. The drive by James. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Shumpert, good, and the assist goes to James. Shumpert's got five now. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. Iguodala, the pass to Barnes. Rejected by Perkins. LeBron against Lee. And Shumpert kicks to LeBron. And it's Shumpert penetrating. Fires from the line. And Cleveland again with the bucket. You know, with the expectations low for him, uh, he can provide a nice lift when he does put the ball in the basket. Now here's Curry. Eight points for him. Lee dishes to Curry. Back to Lee. Tries to save it. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Steph Curry fourth. Well, he's almost unstoppable. He's got so many different ways he can hurt you and put the ball in the basket. Um, and it seems as though he raises his level during the postseason. Outside jumper. LeBron outside. And it's Perkins in the corner. There's the pass to Smith. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. That's his first personal foul. For Cleveland, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Two shots. And that drops, so they now lead by one. A different look now for Cleveland. Mozgov, he's checked in for Perkins. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Iman Shumpert. And the Warriors also making a change. Bogut's checked in.
So he gets them both. Here's Curry. He's got eight. Iguodala outside. Back to Curry. Shot to stop the run. Here's Bogut. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Cleveland. Well, Kevin, in the first half of play, they're really closing out aggressively, blocking shots, a, a key indicator of their activity defensively. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. Free throw, good, Bogut. Oh, my gosh, I just got that. Bogut drops them both. Oh my gosh, I just got that. The Cavaliers have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. They set the pick. No one near James as he lets it go. The open jump shot off the mark. Iguodala right side. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Iguodala's got four points now in the quarter. Those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. And I think they should really continue to work it down low, Clark. That's really going to free up the rest of their offense. Now, here is Smith. He has seven. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Warriors. Guys, they're really passing the ball well here in the first half. You know, we've seen them bearing their fair share of mid-range jumpers tonight, too. I mean, that's a good start for them. That's good from J.R. Smith. Checking out the game J.R. Smith is having. He has eight points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. Yeah, he's defending very well, Clark. He's disrupting the, the offense. Uh, he's playing the passing lanes, trying to put as much pressure on as possible. Smith hits them both. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. He did not look too happy about some of the things he saw on the court. So I would expect some changes here. I think it's the right move, quite honestly. I mean, they just didn't look sharp or at their best out there. So take the time out and give yourself a chance to regroup. And so it's Golden State with it. Curry kicks to Barnes. The 10-footer. Mozgov grabs the board. Cleveland's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Here's Della Vidova. James outside. Goes up at the stripe, and he hits the jump shot. James has got 10 points. Warriors have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of 10. Green with a screen for Curry. Nobody near Barnes. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Iguodala. And that's 10 points for Barnes. The Cavaliers trailing. Here's Della Vidova. And here is James. Smith outside. Della Vidova, the pass to Smith. Kicks it out to James. Shot clock at three. Another three for Cleveland. 
His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. Golden State's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Curry kicks to Green. Poke loose. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. Down to five on the shot clock. Curry's shot is off. Cleveland's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Della Vidova kicks to Smith. Here's the screen. Pass to Della Vidova. Barnes against James. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. The Warriors trail it. Curry dishes to Green. Now Curry. Eight points for him. Green with a screen for Curry. From D, Big Udawa. Cannot hit, so Cleveland will take it the other way. Smith the pass to James. Back to Smith. Thompson in the corner. Della Vidova kicks to Smith. And it's good, assisting on the play was Della Vidova. Now it's a five-point Cavalier lead. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Curry dishes to Iguodala. There's the three. Again, Iguodala missing. Well, a dangerous trend here, guys, because they're starting to live and die with the outside jumper. Yeah, you don't want to always do drive through. Every now and then, you got to go inside to eat. Pump fake, draw contact, and get to the foul line. Now Smith, after the missed three from Iguodala. Here's Mozgov. No good. Nice D from Bogut. And excellent interior defense there. Good rotation. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. Smith, the pass to Della Vidova. LeBron outside. We've got 123 left to play here in the second quarter. Dishes to Mosca. Igudala with the steal. Bogut with a screen on Smith. Igudala's. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? That was a power yes. punch right yeah. there. Oh, great. Talk about putting something extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark, you know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. Now, here's Thompson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Della Vidova. Goes back up. Thompson misses. Two for one chance here. Yeah, let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. Iguodala outside. Right wing. From downtown. That's good. Iguodala's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Thompson sets the pick for James. Shot off the screen, and Tristan Thompson on the bucket with the assist by James. James has got his third assist on the night. Now Curry. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. So a tie game here as we finish the first half. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Guys, I'm here with Stephen Curry, and Steph, Coach made a point of stating how important the physical presence would be in this game. How important is that going to be for the team in the second half? Uh, that's a big deal. I mean, um, just being physical and, um, you know, make the right plays and then hopefully we put ourselves in a good position to win. You've got to match that opponent's intensity, Steph. Thanks for the time. Guys? Thank you, Doris. And we'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half. And welcome back to our presentation of the NBA Finals as we get going again. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. 
Clay created a lot of opportunities for himself in the first couple of quarters. And tell you what, he, he was smart with his shot making, too. He really took good ones. You know, points per shot attempted is really one of the undervalued stats in the game, and it's a real measurement of efficient scoring. LeBron is the three with Thompson at the four. J.R. Smith out there with Matthew Dellavedova, and it's Mozgov in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Here's Dellavedova. Barnes grabs the miss. Golden State's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with a rundown of this postseason's assist leaders. Fifth is Steph Curry. Well, it's great to see guys step up to the added pressure of the postseason and deliver big numbers. Not only for him, but his teammates. Anybody that distributes the ball the way he does helps his team and himself. Delavidova kicks to Mozgov. Now the dish to LeBron. Cleveland moving it around all alone. Mozgov with the bucket. Mozgov's got the first points of the second half here for the Cavs. The Warriors shooting the ball really well in this game, 58%. Thompson outside. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. The shot by Curry, no good. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. And stolen by Barnes. Curry dishes to Barnes. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. James has got rebound number five here tonight. Smith for three. A second chance effort. Goes back up. Trying to get open is Thompson. And he sinks the layup. Mozgov's got four this quarter. You know, that putback's about as easy as it's going to get. You, you have to put a body on someone down there. Well, no box out. That's the result you get right there. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And offensively, they have yet to hit a shot. Slow start here in the second half. LeBron outside. Banked in off the glass. LeBron's got 15. Well, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Thompson passes to Green. He dishes it to Bogut. He kicks to Thompson. Bogut down low. Osgov on him. And the basket by Bogut. Maybe with that, the lid on this basket will be lifted for him. Cleveland leading by four. Here's Delavido. Kicks it to Smith. Thompson, a screen on Thompson. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Well, if you're going to set a screen like that, you've got to make sure your feet are set. I agree with you, and I thought maybe he was set that time, Steve. I thought it was a good screen on his part. A different look now for Cleveland. Love comes in for Thompson, and it's Amon Jumpert in for Smith. Lee's checked in for the Warriors. Now here's Curry. Ten points for him. Pass to Lee. Back to Curry. Pass to Green. Beyond the arc. Second shot opportunity, and the layup by Lee. Lee's got his third bucket of the night. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it, and I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. Here's Delavidova. Out to Shumpert. Delavidova dishes to James. Just five to shoot. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. What a game for LeBron. 15 points and some assists, too. How about three of them? This is some performance we're witnessing out of him. This is a night to remember for sure, guys. He's gone two for two at the line so far. LeBron James at the line for two. First one falls for him. And Cleveland making a change here. Perkins is checked in. Spates checked in for the Warriors.
That one misses. Warriors trail by three. Curry with it. Ten points for him. He feeds it to Spates. Back to Curry. A shot. And Shumper pulls it down. Well, you have to get a hand into his face because that's his range right there. And there's the feed to James. Here's Delavid over. He's covered by Thompson. The drive by James. Shot clock at six. Golden State foul call. David Reed. That's his first personal foul. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. The other thing they're doing, guys, is forcing turnovers and then creating points offensively as a result. Free throw good, James. Mike Miller's checked in for Cleveland. And the Warriors also making a change. Livingston's checked in. And both free throws good for LeBron. Thank you, Cleveland! So it's the Warriors now. Here is Livingston. Feeds to Spates. And it's good assisting on the play with Livingston. Livingston's got three assists tonight. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. The drive by James. Can't hit. Warriors trail by three. Here's Barnes. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Barnes has got 12 points in the game. The Cavaliers have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. That's good. And that's now 20 points for LeBron. Broke out the finger roll, guys. That was kind of a stylish finish. Livingston kicks to Spates. And there's the pass to Thompson. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Checking out the game Clay Thompson is having. He has eight points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. Well, the defenders have that in the back of their minds now, too, so they're going to close out on him quicker. That should allow him to use the drive if he wants. And Cleveland making a change here. Marion's checked in. And so Thompson nails both of them. Oh my God, Here's Miller. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Outside jumper. Love against Lee. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. The Cavaliers have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. At the line for two. That's good from Love. No free throws good from Kevin Love. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Here is Livingston. Here's Lee. 
And again, it's the Warriors missing. Passes it to Marion. To the wing on the left. Miller kicks to Shumper. The wide open look here for Marion. Sinks the three pointer. Marion's got the lead up to six now for the Cavs. Golden State's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here is Livingston. Dishes it to Thompson. And it's good. Spot through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Heard the whistle and still kept his focus. Able to knock that down. And that is not easy, Steve. I mean, to take the bump, to maintain control of your body, and put it in the hole, tremendous play. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. leading by three. Miller outside. Shepard up top. He's covered by Thompson. Shot clock at six. No good with the triple. Warriors trail by three. The dish to Barnes. Hooked away and stolen by Love. And here we go. Love heading to the hoop. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. Timeout called the Warriors. Well, he sees something that, he's, that he doesn't like. I, I'm not sure what it is, but I think he's going to make some changes here. I think you've got to make your adjustments pretty quickly like he's doing here. Otherwise, you know, things can get out of hand. So this is a good timeout. Andre Iguodala has checked in for Golden State. Lee outside. To the wing right side. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. And the Warriors miss again. Obviously they're evenly matched teams on the inside. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, I've been impressed with just both teams' energy. Just really working hard on the boards. Now here's Shepard. He has seven. Love kicks to Shumper. Just five to shoot. And Marion gets it to go. Sean Marion. Warriors trail by eight. Here's Livingston. Nails the wide open jump shot. Livingston's got his second bucket of the night. The Cavaliers have gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. Timeout called Cleveland. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Warriors coach as he addressed his team. He told his guys to make sure they keep the pace fast, to get out and run each and every chance they get. He also said he wants them going hard to the boards at both ends of the floor, not just the defensive backboards. Perhaps the rest of the second half will look different after those adjustments, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. Perkins, the pass to Shumper. He dishes it to Miller. Six to shoot. It's stolen. Here is Livingston. Lee is screen on Miller. Livingston dishes to Lee. Livingston kicks to Iguodala. And it's good assisting on the play was Livingston. Livingston's got his fourth assist in this one. The Cavaliers leading by three. And it's Miller penetrating. And the Cavaliers getting another bucket right there. Golden State's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Livingston kicks to Lee. Lee is screen on Miller. Livingston passes to Spates. Nice work there coming off the screen. Spates has got his second bucket. Very effective screen to set up the jumper. That was the key to that play. 
Miller dishes to Shumpert. Marion kicks to Shumpert. This one for three, and another three for Cleveland. Now they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? Warriors trail by six. Here is Livingston. Thompson outside. In the corner, Igudala with it. Livingston passes to Lee. Cavaliers with the rebound. 116 left to play here in the third. Miller dishes to Shumpert. It's a pick by Love. A drive by Shumpert. Fires the three. And it's Spates with the rebound. Spates has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Igudala with it, and it's Marion picking him up. Igudala kicks to Thompson. Lee sets a screen for Thompson. Lock at six. Shot is good, and the Cavaliers lead cut down to four on the bucket from Igudala. Well, you know, he has shot the ball well, but it has not been contagious. And his teammates, they haven't had the same groove, and that's why we're looking at this result so far. Now, here is Miller. Shumper with the screen for Miller. And it's Marion in the corner. Shumper against Thompson. There's Miller with the three, and he gets the bucket. Miller's got five points so far. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been bombs away ever since. Livingston passes to Thompson. The three, and another three for Golden State. This is great. Three-pointers going down quickly at both ends. Yeah, it took them no time to answer back on that possession. Let's the three fly. No good on the buzzer beater. The third quarter comes to a close. Cavaliers lead by four. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Quicken Loans Arena. And now we present our State Farm assist of the game. With five total assists in the game, we've seen some great passing tonight from Livingston. And his passing ability is why they make sure the offense runs through him on a regular basis. Great assist like the one we just saw. Warriors trail by four. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Curry and Thompson, the Splash Brothers in the backcourt. Barnes and Green, the forward handle. And it's Bogut in its center. You know, tired legs can affect you at the defensive end, and I think that's what's happening right here. I agree, because as much offense as we saw early, we're seeing even more of it here late. Smith makes it off the glass. And the Cavaliers lead by four. Golden State's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. Curry kicks to Thompson. Green with a screen on Smith. Thompson misses. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. Boy, the floor really opened up for him there. It sure did. A good job getting it started before the defense can get itself set. Here's Curry. J.R. Smith making his last shot. Curry dishes to Thompson. Green with a screen for Thompson. Outside, Green. Shot clock at six. And Curry, here we go. Rebound by Della Vidova. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Not out of character for him to miss those. Well, Clark, a clear lane to the basket and the emphatic jam. And that is outstanding attacking basketball. Well, he had no choice but to take that one to the bucket. Here's Curry. The Cavaliers making the shot. Green, the pass to Curry. Offline with his three. The clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Smith with it. Picked up by Thompson. Smith kicks to Del Vidova. James outside. Pass to Mozgov. Trying to get open is Thompson. He feeds it to Del Vidova. 
Barnes against LeBron. He kicks it to Thompson. Here's Delavido, guarded by Kerr. Smith against Thompson. And again, J.R. Smith. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Warriors have gone 104 since the end of the third quarter. Timeout called the Warriors. You have to like what we're seeing from J.R. Smith. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Warriors coach as he addressed his team. He was not happy with their play to this point, telling them we're getting out hustled, plain and simple. There's still time, but we've got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Curry, wide open. Another miss by Curry. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Thompson outside. Kicks it to LeBron. Elevadova dishes to LeBron. Just five on the clock. Pass to Elevadova. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. He can't get anything to drop. And the way he's going, I'm not sure it's something he should try to shoot his way out of. No, that might only serve to make things worse, Steve. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. Now, here's Curry. Loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Now the feed to James. And the layup's good off the glass. James has got nine points here in the second half. I love what they're doing, trying to put the hammer down, attacking the basket when they can. Curry passes to Thompson. Back to Curry. Bogut sets a screen for Curry. Feeds it to Barnes. Back to Curry. Six on the shot clock. Again, Curry missing. He just has not been a viable option for them this quarter. Delavidova kicks to Mozgov. James dishes to Smith. Back to James. James left side. No good. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. Well, for one, he hasn't let them down. I mean, but a few other guys need to pick up the pace if they're going to be good. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor and these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. Here's Delavidova. Smith outside. And there's the pass to Delavidova. Passes it to LeBron. From outside, off the mark. Very little success for him behind the arc today. Just one three-pointer in the first half and still none in the second. It's Thompson off the drive. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Another miss by Curry. I think he's got to regroup and get himself together here. I mean, something's gone wrong with him this quarter. He's really falling off. Well, it's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? Green with a screen for Curry. Dishes it to Green. Back to Curry. Shot clock at six. Green the pass to Curry. Lead pass was put in just the right spot. Not much luck with his shooting here. Two of seven and seems to have gotten into his head a little bit. Elevadova issues to Mozgov. He feeds it to James. 
Smith kicks to Delvadova. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. Outside Green. Curry a screen on James. There's the dish to Curry. Jacks up a three and he gets the bucket. Now just a five point Cleveland lead. That's a big basket there and you can expect him to be very involved and aggressive the rest of the way. James outside. He dishes it to Smith. Back to LeBron. Pass to Mozgov. 13 feet away. Green with the rebound. Green's got four rebounds in this game. They've been able to get out to this lead without really getting a very reliable performance out of him from the field. Curry can't get it to go. Oh, he's just launching from the three-point line right now because I don't like his shot selection at all. And they double him up with LeBron. Della Vidova kicks to Mozgov. James outside. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. Shooting for Cleveland. LeBron James. Two shots. The free throw drops for James. That misses, so he splits the free throws. He's been to the line here more than in the first. I thought he was a bit tentative in that first, but I like the aggressiveness he's showing here now. Thompson outside. Out to the wing. Curry with it. He's picked up by James. There's Green with the three. Rebound by Della Vidova. Oh, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. But when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. You know, there aren't many guys like you, players who can accelerate to the rim and finish with a flourish more often than not. Kevin Love's checked in for Thompson. LeBron James. One shot. And that one misses. Warriors trail by eight. It's Curry with the drive, and he gets the bucket. Curry's got nine points now in the quarter. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. J.R. Smith on the wing. Love with the screen for Smith. He kicks it to Love. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Cavaliers lead by eight. Golden State's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Timeout called the Warriors. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. He's on fire. They needed to put their heads together to figure out how to get the ball out of his hands. Curry attacking. Good on the shot. Curry's got 11 points here in just the second half. Boy, that was impressive. Major height disadvantage, but he still got the shot up over his man. Well, he's got the poise to handle any matchup, and he's not easily intimidated. You could see that there. Now, here is Smith. James outside. Six to shoot. From 12 feet out. And again, it's Cleveland. Great second half. I mean, he came out of that locker room ready to play. Warriors trail by eight. Stripped it away. Here's Della Vidova. The shot is off. And Golden State will go the other way with it. 
Thompson outside. Left side, Curry. Misses off the left iron. I thought he'd make that one. I mean, that's his range, and the defense nowhere to be seen. Delavidova, the pass to James. Kicks it to Delavidova. The feed to Smith. Cleveland moving it around. LeBron is doubled. Smith with a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to James. Smith's got the lead up to 10 now for Cleveland. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They trail by 10. There's 126 left to play here in the fourth. There's 126 left in the fourth. Outside Curry. Pass to Bogut. Thompson outside. Drills it from outside. Thompson's got five points now this quarter. Second three-pointer of the half, fourth overall. So he's having a nice game from outside. Smith dishes to Delavidova. Here's Mozgov, covered by Bogut. Barnes against James. Six to shoot. From the arc. Rebounded by Bogut. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. And for the Warriors, they're shooting uh, about 47% here in the fourth. It's Curry with the drive. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Take a look at what Curry's done. He's got 21 points, and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. Yeah, and you'd expect by the end of this game, I, I'm sure the numbers are going to look even better. So the first one drops, and that trims the lead to six. He's perfect from the line this time. Oh Boy, they needed those two free throws to go down. They're definitely within striking distance now. And so they foul intentionally. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. Forty seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one, and they are in the driver's seat. Yep, a uh, basket here, and that pretty much wraps it up. LeBron kicks to Smith, feeds it to Mozgov. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And yeah, they're getting that lead way up there now. I mean, it should be a stroll to the final whistle from here. Yeah, this late in the game, it'd be almost impossible for them to blow a lead like this. Timeout called the Warriors. They're down by seven. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. On its way from Curry for two. Money! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. That's his second personal foul. 14 foul. At the line, for your Cavaliers. LeBron James. At the line for two. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a seven-point game. And no mistakes there. A couple of good free throws to give them a little extra cushion. It falls! And now they trail by just four. 
now Smith. Well, they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Yeah, you can't let them pound the ball and just milk those precious seconds away. No other option here but to foul and hope for a few misses at the line. Jayon Smith at the line for two. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. So it gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. And that ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those free throws. Curry can't get it to go. And so they choose to intentionally foul. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Igudama missed. And so it's Cleveland winning this one. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And now let's go over to Doris Burke on the sideline for an interview with the Jordan player of the game. Doris, take it away. LeBron, what is it like knowing that regardless of what happens with this team, any failure rests on your shoulders? Well, uh, you know, I just go out and just do what I've been taught, and that's to play at a high level and have fun with it. And at the end of the day, um, I won't regret anything. If I know I played hard and I gave it my all, I won't regret anything, no matter the outcome. And, uh, you know, that's where I've been this whole season. Thank you so much. Back to you guys at the table. Thank you, Doris. And that'll do it for Doris Burke, Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us for Game 3 of the NBA Finals. Now it's time to present the Jordan Player of the Game.